Hello, welcome back. Today I'm doing another ink review. And it is Rabbit Oyster Pinky. I saw this, I was like, ah, I love pink. I gotta try to use some of that ink. You can see it. Ta-da! Pink. Um, Rabbit Oyster's inks come in a 50 milliliter plastic bottle like this. And of course, with the color ink you choose. And today, I'm doing my ink review with, of course, my two Nemesine Singularities, my Medium Nib, and my .06. Now, let's go to review. What I do, I do a Bristol card, and I put three strips of paper on it. I use the Fabriano Tomari River and the Rodeo paper, so I can see how the ink acts on the paper side by side. You can see how on some of it it's a little bit darker and like on the Tomar River it is a little bit of a lighter pink. I like my little color chart. You could definitely see the differences. Okay, next we're off to the Rodeo paper. Okay, let's see the little scrubbies up here. See the medium, it's darker. And if you go over here to the 0.06, it's a lighter pink. Now I'm down here to my phrase, the little bird plays in the forest. I do it in a medium nib and then the 0.06 nib. Then I do the alphabet and the medium nib. Then off to our water drop test. Put a drop of water on it. Let's sit there for a bit. Sop it up. Yep, it took the ink away. And right here, I write the word water test in the medium and the 0.06. After I let it dry and I do all my writing, I come back later, hit it with some water, and yeah, it picked right up. So, not water resistant. And here it is on the bottom. I do it in 5 second intervals. I do my wetness test and it took 17 seconds to dry. Flip it over. Did not bleed through. Pretty good ink. Here we go to the Tilmar River. If you remember, on our little color chart, it did come up lighter. And of course here, you could definitely tell it was lighter. Medium scrub. Yes, it's darker. Go to the .06, that is lighter. Then we got our phrase here. Then we have the alphabet. And amazingly enough, it only took 17 seconds to dry. Tell me River, that's pretty quick. Flip it over. No bleed. Pretty good. Next here we have the Fabriano paper. If I could get it. Give me a second. Here we go. Fabriano. Medium scrubby. Darker. No point oh six. Came up lighter. Of course I got my phrase. Then I have my alphabet, and it took 17 seconds to dry. Ain't bad. Let's flip it over. Let's see if it bled through. Did not bleed through. Pretty good. Next, we have Staples copy paper. Yep, the cheapy paper people hate. But, you can write on it. It's paper. It works. Of course, you can look again at my other scrubby. Medium, it's darker, 0.06, a little bit lighter. Um, of course, here, it didn't take long for it to dry because, you know, this paper just sucks it in like a sponge. Um, I kind of like the ink on this paper, even though it sucks it in, it makes it darker. So, if you're writing a letter, it's more <laughs> legible on this. Yeah, but it didn't bleed through, which is kind of amazing. Next. We have mead paper. If you look at my scrubby, darker, go to the 0.06. It's a little bit um, lighter. Then you go over here. You can see it in the 0.06 writing itself. You can see it's lighter and it has a shading, which is kind of neat, but yeah, you this pink is pretty light. And of course, yeah. 
halfway you can see it all through it coming through didn't go complete bleed through but yeah i bet you if you laid it on thick enough it probably would and last but not least we have the post-it paper um pink on yellow <laughs> yeah it's kind of hard to see it kind of hurts your eyeballs to read it but if you need to you probably could Leave a note and, you know, get your point across. It took eight seconds to dry, which ain't bad with rubber oysters. For some reason, they've been coming out like 17 seconds lately. And if you looky here, no way through. Overall, I'd have to say the pink ink is a pretty pink. I would call it more of a Barbie pink. Um, I want to love it, but if I was going to do some watercoloring, I'd pick up this ink and play with this ink and do some pretty flowers. Writing letters upon letters, I think your eyes would start to hurt after a while trying to focus in on this on a bright white paper. But if you love ink, I would pick this up and probably, um, let it sit in your pan for a little bit and let it dry and make it a little bit darker. But it is a pretty pink though, if you love pink. Um, I hope you like this review. See, look at, it looks pretty up there on the road, yeah. And I hope it helps you make in your decisions on your ink choice picking. Um, if you have any comments or anything, yeah, post it down below. i like to see what you got to say. And um, maybe say something to kind of help me out. I'm still really new at this, um, as you can obviously tell, I'm getting all nervous, voice cracking. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this sync review. Alright, catch you later.